Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be solving a mystery. So I recently moved, so I have a new Whirlpool dishwasher. Previously, I had a GE dishwasher and it dried my dishes wonderfully. This dishwasher, even if I put on high temp heat dry, it still leaves my dishes wet. So I've been using this Cascade Complete. It says tough for stuck on messes, etc., etc. but I am not using any sort of finish jet dry rinse aid. So, we are going to run the dishwasher here with the Cascade Complete only, and then I am going to run my dishwasher again once it fills up again, and we are going to add in this finished rinse aid and see if there's a difference, or if I am just wasting money by buying a jet dry and there's actually something wrong with my dishwasher. So let's go. Okay guys, here we go. You can see that there is nothing in the rinse aid. I have not used it at all. I have my pod here. I am going to put it in the little compartment. I don't put anything in pre-wash. I've read if you use liquid dish detergent, you're supposed to put it in both, but I don't, I have the pod. I'm gonna close it on up. You can see I have a full rack of dishes. That's peanut butter on there. So we'll see how well this guy washes as well. I'm gonna go ahead and close it on up. And I'm going to make sure it's on, gonna be on a one hour wash. It is on heat dry so we know that that's turned on and then i'm going to push start and we will see how it finishes so i'll check back with you in about an hour all right y'all moment of truth one hour cycles over it says clean let's open this up and see what it looks like so the tab is fully dissolved feels warm but as you can see, my bottom layer dishes are still pretty wet. Let's see my top layer dishes. Yep, wet is the verdict. So I either can towel dry them or leave this open for a little bit and let them air dry, which is probably what I'm gonna do while I clean some other stuff. So we'll be back for round two with the jet dry. All right guys, we are back for round two. My dishwasher is filled with a new set of dirty dishes for this evening. I think I'm gonna go with liquid dish detergent this time, and then I'm also going to be using the Finish Rinse Aid Jet Dry. So let's go ahead and put that in and see how my dishes come out. Go ahead and pour that in right there. This is pre-wash. I read on a, or I read, I watched on a video that you're actually supposed to put liquid detergent in the pre-wash part two. So let's go ahead and try that out. And we'll put this little guy back on. All right, we're gonna shut that right up. We are going to do one hour wash again with the heat dry on. And we will check back in about an hour. Moment of truth for round two. You guys can see that it says clean. There is water here. Let's pull this out. Okay, let's pull this first layer out. So there does look to be water still on my strainer and some here on this blue bowl. These look fairly dry on the side here though. Let's pull out this top shelf. All right, so this Cutting boards seem to collect quite a bit of water here. Underneath it, it doesn't look too bad. Actually, it, it does look like it has dried a little better. Look, the cup doesn't have any wet spots. So, while not perfect, I do think that the rinse aid has helped a little bit. So instead of drying 0%, it's probably at about a 70% now. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Do you use a rinse aid or should I try something else to fix the drying aspect of this dishwasher? Don't forget to subscribe for more how-to videos and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.